Hey, Josh Marsden here, founder of CVO Acceleration Online Sales Funnels. So if you struggle with time management, I'm gonna teach you three things that I've done that's allowed me to grow my business since I've started my business back in early 2013, now as a multiple six figures uh, here in 2017. And we're projected to hit one million next year. So before I get into those tips on time management, I'd like to talk to you about some of the things that I struggled with that possibly you're struggling with as well when it comes to getting more out of your day and hitting your goals, managing time wisely to be able to do that on a consistent basis, okay? So I know that when I was back in 2013, 2014, um, I was wearing a lot of hats and I was struggling at times to find time to spend on my business and grow my business. I, I run a service-based company and at the time, the service that I was selling really depended a lot on me and the work that I was doing for companies. And because of that, I was pulled in multiple directions. I was wearing hats all the time as I'm trying to make sure that we're providing quality service for our customers, that I'm there for my customers, I'm making my calls, I'm taking care of emergencies when they come up, I'm getting work done that needs to get done for customers on a timely manner. And then at the same time, I also am worried about my own company. I wanna be able to spend time on you know, putting marketing funnels in place, doing social media, putting systems in place uh, in my business as well, so this way I can scale and grow. So it's a, it was a struggle at that time, and maybe a struggle that you can relate to as well that you felt in your own business. And so I think that these tips are gonna be highly valuable for you, so this way you could overcome some of those typical challenges that you face and you feel, that you truly do feel, as you're trying to grind it out and build your business during the, those key moments early in a business when you're wearing all these hats, okay? So I'm gonna, so back in 2014, when I was really feeling these pains that you're probably feeling as well, I turned to content, I turned to experts, I turned to people that I felt like could really teach me on how to structure my day properly, how to get more out of my day, how to be more productive. And I found blogs, podcasts, books, and I'm gonna talk about one specific book that really made an impact on me back in 2014 when I was, again, at that point, feeling those pains that you're probably feeling as well. And I, was, and, and I, was, I used the content in this book to, to really change my approach so I can get more out of my day-to-day -day activities. So hopefully that's something that you're excited about that you feel like could possibly help you with the struggles you face in regards to time management. So let's jump right in. So the book that I'm talking about here is No BS, Time Management for Entrepreneurs by Dan Kennedy. So this book, awesome book, highly recommend it. And Dan Kennedy, all his books are actually pretty solid as well. I've read several of them. This book though, really relates to time management and some of the struggles that I felt back in 2014 and you're probably feeling right now as well. So there were three big takeaways that I'm gonna share with you that I hope would provide a ton of value for you going through this video. So for one, Really understanding the value of your time, and especially if you are a service-based business owner. Because if you're a service-based business owner, on some level, you're selling your own time, and you really have to respect the value of your time as you get drawn into different activities day to day. And you really wanna think about that for a sec. Put a value on your time. What is your time worth? And if you get sucked into responsibilities, activities that don't necessarily match the value of your time, then you probably shouldn't be doing them. And if you have to get that stuff done, then those are responsibilities that I would highly recommend that you delegate, whether it's to a team member or whether it's to a third party, or you even put it to the side and get back to it later. So this way you really focus your time on high value activities that are gonna help you uh, maximize your day-to-day -day productivity. And you know, here's an equation that I actually learned recently that I'm gonna share with you that is an equation that's really powerful. So I want you to think about what your goal is for the quarter and as far as a monetary goal. What is your revenue goal? And divide that by the amount of working days that you see for yourself during the quarter. So you know, take out weekdays, take out vacation days. That should be the total amount of days that you have to work throughout the quarter and take the total revenue divided by the working days, and that's the value of your day that you should be shooting for on a consistent basis in order to hit that revenue goal 
on a quarterly basis. So I hope, hopefully you like that equation that really helps you kind of frame how you should be sh structuring your day and what activities you, sh you should be spending on, uh, you spending your time on, I'm sorry, on a daily basis. So this way you're achieving your revenue goal and you're maximizing your daily productivity. Another tip that I'm gonna share with you as well is avoiding distractions. And we live in a very um, intense society right now with a lot of distractions the things that can just pop up left and right all the time. We're attached to our phones. We've got social media posts, social media notifications. We've got all sorts of stuff going on in our lives day to day fam with family, with social media, you name it, that can easily distract you. And when that happens, what, what else happens? Your productivity goes down. And so you have to control those distractions. You really have to focus. And so I'm going to give you some, some tips here on that I, that I personally have used that I feel like would help you as well. Um, so this way you can eliminate some of those distractions and get more done on a daily basis. So when it comes to social media, I would recommend turning your notifications off on your phone. You know, you don't need to see notifications on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, or any other social media platform out there. You can get back to those later, right? Same with email, same thing. Any notification you that you receive that isn't critical, turn those off and get back to them late and basically check those apps later at a time that works best for your schedule. So this way you can focus your time on high value activities. Okay. Another thing too, is you can also block off when you're going to check your email. When emails are coming in left and right. And again, notifications coming up on your desktop, you get distracted. You see it. Uh, this thing called context switching happens where you could be working on something, but then you see an email pop up at the top right of your screen. You're like, oh wait, what is this? And you go to it. And then you try to go back to the, the project you were just working on. And then you, gotta, then you gotta get yourself back on track and your mind is just all over the place at that point. Avoid that, don't do that. Instead, turn off your email notifications, block off time throughout your day, maybe two or three times throughout the day. When you check your email, I highly recommend that. It's done wonders for me since I've been doing that for the past few years in regards to staying focused on high productivity activities so I can get the most productivity out of my day-to-day -day operations. Besides that, um, I'm also gonna give you another tip here too. So if you're using Google Chrome, uh, install this plugin called Newsfeed Eradicator. Google you know, for that and install it into your Chrome uh, browser so this way when you go to Facebook, you don't see that newsfeed. You don't get distracted by it. That helps as well as a small little tip there. Finally, to add to this, um, in the book, they talk about, this is probably the most humorous thing in the book that I'm gonna share with you. They talk about time vampires. Now, what are time vampires? They're those people that suck up your time and take you away from what you should be focused on, what you should be working on. So day to day, think about the people that approach you and and try to like keep conversations to a minimum. Try not to get sucked into conversations. Say no if you need to sometimes, politely of course. So this way again, you can kind of avoid some of those time drains and you could really focus on your day-to-day -day activities again so you can get your productivity up. Besides that, um, I also recommend approaching your schedule differently. Now what I mean by that is really plan your day-to-day. -day. Spend 30 to 60 minutes in the morning and look at your calendar see what your priorities are for that day and block off, you know, when you're going to work on specific projects, when you're going to meet with team members, when you're going to meet with customers, even have themes for each day throughout your work week. I highly recommend that as well. That's been incredible for me and has really helped to increase my productivity. Also, when you're approaching meetings, keep them focused. Meetings can get out of hand if you don't. Okay. When you get on a meeting with your team, if you have one, or even with a customer, say the agenda and then ask you know the people in there is there anything related to these topics that you'd like to talk about as well and then stay true to that don't go off on a tangent too long really stay focused on keeping that agenda at the forefront of the meeting whether it's with a customer or whether it's with your team so i hope that you have appreciated these uh, these tips they've been incredible for me and i know that they can really make an impact on your day-to-day -day productivity especially if you've been struggling to get more done and you're getting sucked into all sorts of different things day in, day out, and you're just sick of it, and you know that it's impacting your daily productivity. Stop, implement these tips, and I guarantee you that you'll see your productivity go up.